Hi crypto fans, welcome to CCS Cryptocurrency State. My name is Santiago Me Web Developer and Investor, and in today's video we are going to cover the scroll airdrop. This time we are going to do a quick review, but we are going to focus on how to deploy a contract on the scroll testnet. Don't be afraid, this is not like a matrix and the theme of this thumbnail. It's going to be super easy for you in order to deploy this contract and maybe be ahead of many of the other people, airdrop hunters that are applying to scroll airdrop. So like always in my videos, I'm going to explain this step by step on how you can do this. And I'm going to show you images and I'm going to do it exactly with you step by step so you don't miss anything of this. And if you are an airdrop hunter, you need to know that scroll is one of those big funding projects. So we need to do this airdrop if you really want to maximize your earnings. Before we begin, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, click the bell to get the notifications. And without anything else, let's get into it. Hi crypto fans. Well, I covered scroll pre-alpha testnet airdrop before on January 3rd. So already six months ago. In this video, we are going to do the scroll alpha testnet. So we are going to do quickly the steps that we need to do on that. And then we are going to focus on the deployment of a contract. I think doing that, it could put you ahead of many of the other airdrop hunters that are going to only transact and use the bridge. So this video is really important if you are doing the scroll airdrop. And this airdrop and many others are in my subscription channel. If you are wondering how to make money in crypto, right now the best opportunity are airdrops. There are many big projects that if you join to my Discord and to my app, you are going to be able to apply easily and quickly with my application. It's going to help you a lot as an airdrop hunter. And all the doubts, all the news, distributions, new airdrops, everything, you are going to find it in my Discord. So check my subscriptions at cryptocurrencystate.net slash subscriptions. Now guys, let's go and do the scroll airdrop quick review. First of all, you need to check this. This is my pre-alpha video for a scroll. Check if you still can apply to the pre-alpha. Maybe this is over already, but first try to apply the pre-alpha just in case. If not, let's go directly to the alpha testnet. For doing this, you are going to need Gorlic Ethereum tokens. And this is the Gorlic Ethereum network from Ethereum. You can check this video on how to get these Gorlic Ethereum tokens and what is Gorlic Ethereum actually. If you are new in crypto, don't know about this testnet of Ethereum. So check this video, which is a step two on my step-by-step -step tutorial. After you get Gorlic Ethereum, we go to step three, which is go to the scroll website and click on join alpha testnet. So go here and click join alpha testnet. This is going to pop up the scroll portal. And here you can click on connect wallet. I'm going to use MetaMask. So after you connect your wallet here, you can click here on garlic testnet. If you don't have it in MetaMask, just click add to MetaMask. It's going to add the network automatically and you can switch to the network. And the same with the scroll alpha testnet, just click add to MetaMask. You are going to see here the information of the network. So click approve. And then you can switch to the scroll alpha testnet. Doing that, you already have the scroll alpha testnet in your MetaMask as a new network. Now we go to the step four, which is we need to bridge Fawcett Garlic Ethereum tokens into the scroll testnet. So from the portal, you can go here and click on bridge. Or here I put directly the scroll.io slash bridge. It's going to send you here. After you are connected, you need to move funds from Garlic Testnet into the Scroll Alpha. So I will change this. I will go to the Garlic Ethereum Testnet. And you can see I have 51 Ethereum Garlic tokens. If you follow the steps here, you are going to have free tokens. In my case, I have 51 because I bought it. And if you want to buy it like me, instead of getting all those small amounts on the free places for the garlic Ethereum, you can go to testnetbridge.com. This is going to apply on layer zero. So here you are able to connect your wallet and buy garlic Ethereum tokens. You can do it on the Arbitrum network or on Ethereum network too. On Arbitrum, it's going to be cheaper. So you can do it there and then move the funds. In any case, because I am an active airdrop hunter, I prefer to spend some dollars and get already a lot of garlic Ethereum here to play around with all the testnets. 
So here I will move one Ethereum into the scroll alpha. So I will click send Ethereum to scroll alpha. And you can see that the network is busy. So I'm going to uh, apply an aggressive strategy here for the, the transaction. So we get ahead of many other people. Now I will click save and I will click on confirm. If you don't add priority on your transaction, this could take like 20 or 30 minutes. So in my case, I prefer to pay a little more gas fees on Wallet Ethereum and get my transaction done before many others. But in any case, you are going to need to wait until this bridge completes your transaction. So you are going to have in your scroll alpha testnet network the Wallet Ethereum tokens. Now we go to step five, which is do some swap here on Izumi Finance using scroll testnet. Also, you can go to the pools, enter liquidity and farm. So here you have a scroll to Izumi Finance. You go there, here, click connect, connect with your MetaMask. I'm going to switch my network to scroll testnet. So I go with the scroll alpha testnet. And here I am still waiting my funds, but you can see you are going to be able to trade Ethereum for many other tokens. In this case, you can swap to USDT. And after you do that, you can go here on the right side panel and go to pools. You can create and manage a liquidity pool. So I would recommend you to enter into the wrap uh, Ethereum USDT, for example. So you can add liquidity there. And after that, you can go to farm. So try to interact with this application. You are using the scroll testnet. So all those transactions are going to probably count for the possible airdrop. After doing that, step six is do some swaps here in the scroll Uniswap. Also go to the pools and enter liquidity. Go to the Uniswap version three on scroll. So you are going to be here. You need to connect your wallet again. After you connect, you need to confirm that you are in scroll alpha. So here again, you are going to select a token. You are going to be able to wrap the Ethereum and then do some swaps. And you can add here pool. You can add a new position into your liquidity pool and you can swap tokens here. So doing this, you already interacted a lot with the contracts on the scroll testnet alpha. That will be the part one of this video. Now we go directly on the part on how to deploy the contract. Stay with me until the end because that part is really important. I think maybe that could put you ahead of many of the other airdrop hunters that are trying to get this. So step seven is we are going to go to deploy a contract. To deploy a contract, in this case, we are going to use the easiest way, which is not touching anything of code. So we are going to deploy a contract doing a collection on an NFT. So to do that, we go to nfts2me.com app. Here is the link. Connect your wallet in the top right corner. Be sure to be on the scroll testnet and click on additions. So let's go to that link. Here you connect your wallet. Be sure to be in the scroll testnet. Connect here. You need to verify your account. Send the message. Sign in. Wait the verification of the signature. And you can see I am already in and I am here in the scroll testnet. If you are not there, you can go here to mainnet or testnet. So select the testnet and here you have scroll testnet. After you do that, you go to editions and here we go to the next step. So the step eight is add a picture as artwork, fill in a project name, the project description, choose a token symbol, select create collection and then fill in minting fee 0.1 Ethereum or at least above 0.01. And in addition, you can put the size of NFTs that you want for this collection. I will put 10. And you can go and scroll down and hit deploy to the scroll testnet. So let's put the project name, a symbol that could be anything that you want. So here I put the project description and I put the logo of the channel. So here click on create collection. Here on minting fee, in this case I'm going to put 0.02, just about 0.01. And I will click the edition size 10, you can put whatever you want. And here you can see that I don't have the funds to deploy this contract. I still need to wait my Ethereum faucet of the bridge. So wait for that and then click on deploy to scroll testnet. So now that we have the tokens on the wallet, we click on deploy to scroll testnet. And we need to wait all this process, uploading the images, packaging the metadata, and of course, confirm all the transactions. And lastly is creating the edition collection. 
And here, guys, you can see, congrats, you have successfully deployed your NFT project, CCS Scroll Testnet. So you deploy the contract here, you are creating this collection, NFT collection. So that is step eight. Now step nine, we click on project dashboard and we go to the left menu and go to mint settings. So here, click on project dashboard, go here to the left and click on mint settings. And here we want to scroll down here until we go here to choose a face and we put public and click on update face, confirm and we are updating the face. So this is point nine and successfully updating the face to public open. Now we go to step 10, which is for the final part. We go and mint an NFT from our collection. So we go to overview in the left menu and we click on the collection minting page. So here we go to overview and here you have collection minting page. So click on this URL. This is your contract address of your collection. And because we already put that is in public, we can now mint the NFT. You can see there are 10 NFTs here. So let's mint one. We click on connect the wallet. And after we connect, we click on mint. Of course, confirm the transaction and we are paying 0.02 Ethereum, the garlic Ethereum that is in the scroll. And you can see now you own one NFT from this collection. So doing this guys, we already deploy a contract on the scroll testnet and we mint an NFT. Here you have the transaction information and you can check it on the blood scout of scroll. So everything was fine. With that guys, you already finished all on how to deploy the contract on the scroll testnet and we already covered quickly how to participate on the scroll testnet too on the alpha phase if you like it, this video remember to check my subscriptions we have a discord channel which is a private discord where we are killing it get there we are making a lot of money with different airdrops with brc20 ecosystem many things happening there check my video from yesterday if you didn't saw that which is a top airdrops to do for the brc20 tokens and if you want to apply to all my airdrops and also create your custom airdrops, you can use my application. It's going to help you a lot if you are using multiple wallets to make airdrops. Guys, that will be all for this video. This is a scroll airdrop, how to deploy a contract. This probably is going to put you ahead of many other people applying to this airdrop. So if you appreciate this content, like the video, subscribe to the channel, click the bell to get the notifications and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.